What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with more content. And today we're at it again with the OnePlus Open and we're going to cover a feature on this device called the assistive ball. We're going to talk about what it is and how to enable it. And I really like features like this from this device because this is what sets this device apart from other devices. We've got these nice little features, hidden gems packed into this and I'm really digging it. So all things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So the assistive ball, how to enable, we're going to start by pulling down from the top of our device and we're going to look for the settings icon, which is in the top right hand corner and we're going to tap on it. Then we're going to scroll down quite a bit until we see additional settings and tap on that. Now, if we take a look at our display, you can see that it's somewhat divided. We have the left portion and then the right portion, and we're going to look into the right portion and we're going to look for assistive ball and tap on that feature. And then this is going to refresh the page. It's going to be the assistive ball page. By the way, I like the name of this feature. It's kind of catchy, but assistive ball, you can see that we have a slider. You want to make sure that it's enabled so that it's colored. If it's disabled, it's going to be grayed out and all the features underneath it will be grayed out as well. So make sure that that slider is colored. So for the assistive ball, this is going to be a way of controlling some of the features of your phone. So underneath where we enable the feature, we're going to have operation modes. We're going to have gesture operations and we're going to have tap menu. So I'm going to actually exit out of here. We've got gesture operations enabled for the moment. And if you look down below here, you'll see gesture operations, tap, go back, double tap, recent task, touch and hold home screen. So let's see if we can give this a try. I'm actually going to tap it See if we go back, so that does go back. I'm going to go back into the menu. We're going to do the double tap next. So that's going to be recent task. That's pretty cool. And I'm going to jump back into settings. We're going to have touch and hold. That's going to be home screen. So touch and hold. Let's see, there we go. So that brings us back to the home screen. We're going to jump back into the settings though because I want to demonstrate tap menu. So we have the tap menu. And if we back out of here, and again, you can re-adjust this assistive ball. You can place it anywhere on your display. And this is going to be tap menu. So if we tap on it, we're going to have these different icons here. Personally, I prefer the first option, which is going to be that gesture operation. But we have controls here. So we can go back, we could take a screenshot, recent task lock screen and home screen let's give this a try here i'm going to tap on it we're going to tap go back that does bring us back then we can take a screenshot if we would like we're going to skip that one we've got recent task let's see what we've got so that's a nice little feature there we've got lock screen we'll skip that for this video and then we have home screen let's try that out and you can see this is kind of an overlay, so it just appears on top of other things here. And I'm going to go with the gesture operation. Now, it looks like you can actually customize these. So again, if we go back to gesture operations, we can tap on the tap option, for example, and we can change it to several different things according to what's showing up on this page. So each one of these gestures is customizable. And that's going to be the same here, I believe, for the tap menu. Let's see. So if we tap on it, yep, we have the same customization. For each tap menu item, we can change the operation. So this is a pretty cool shortcut. Again, I'm going with the gesture operation. I'm really digging it. And then if we move down, we have opacity. So we can make this assistive ball more transparent to the point that it's almost invisible. Or if you want it more visible, you can make it opaque. And I'm not sure if this is going to affect how it fades. It seems like there is a timeout feature dependent on the opacity, but this is holding a steady uh, opacity here. I'm going to try to put this back to medium because I did see it fade over time. It seems to time out. Maybe it was just me. So we've got that set there. 
I'm going to give it a second. You could see possibly on the screen recording that it does fade out, so that's cool. But if you want it to hold that opacity, we can make it completely opaque, or again, you can go transparent. Then there is one more option here, hide in full screen. When the assistive ball is hidden, swipe down from the top of the screen to unhide it. That's pretty self-explanatory. But I love this little feature here because again, you can kind of drag this around. You can't place it in the middle of the screen. That's a little con there. I would have possibly liked that. But you can drag it along the sides here, really cool. And it gives you some extra features here. So, you know, depending on how you have this set up, this is going to do some really cool things here for you. So this is just another one of many little features I'm finding in the OnePlus Open that differentiates this device from other devices and makes this kind of special, to be honest. So that is it for today's content. As always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon, check in out.